Hi, today we're going to make a pizza, but it's going to be a pizza with a difference. A few years ago, our family and I went off to France and toured around France, and in different places in the mountains, they had something that translates as a, a, basically a white pizza. Um, it was pizza base with creme fraiche and then all sorts of different toppings. Okay, so what we're going to have to start with is making our pizza base. Now I tried when I went shopping to get some bread flour, that was impossible, so I did come up with a, a pizza mix here, but you can use, if you've got um, your own bread flour, you could use uh, a ready-made pizza base, or this is also really nice on puff pastry and baked in the oven. So first thing, I'm going to make our base. I cheat quite readily with a mixer, but if you want to mix it by hand, that's perfectly fine. My pizza mix you just literally add the flour and then add the water. Okay, we've got our dough ready. I'm going to put that and leave it till it's doubled in size. Now the dough is almost ready, we can prepare the topping ingredients. So, first thing we've got is a tub. 200 grams of creme fraiche, to which we're going to add a one sort of nice big fat clove of garlic, some salt, some pepper, and grate it of nutmeg. We've got this lovely asparagus from Vista Veg. We're just going to prep this to go on top of the pizza. So the woody end at the stem, you snap off. A bit much there, but anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to halve it. Sometimes you get the thinner ones, you can just use those whole. Rolling up our pizza base. Okay. Put it on our pizza tray or any kind of tray. It doesn't have to be round, it can be whatever shape you want to make it. So, topping's really easy. So, let's you put your creme fraiche, spread that out on the base. Add your toppings. Okay, we've got the oven on about 190 degrees that's for a fan oven. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to top it with a little bit of cheese. You can have whatever you want, traditionally it will be Gruyere, you can have cheddar, you can have um, parmesan, you can even put mozzarella on the top, but I'm going to keep it simple, I'm just going to put parmesan on the top keep, so I can get the flavours of the asparagus and the bacon in there. Season salt and pepper, of olive oil. Right, it's going in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes um, just to check that the asparagus and the bacon are cooked. And there we have it. I must agree that absolute scrumptious and I can't wait to eat it. All we need now is some lovely warm sunshine and a lovely glass of chilled French wine to enjoy. This is my version of the Alsace Tarte Flambe made with asparagus from Vista Veg.